Hi everyone. This is the second time I'm sharing a video with you and my name is Adele. Let me briefly introduce myself. I work in the fashion industry as a fashion stylist, image consultant, um, as well as a producer for different commercial shoots and advertising. And I'm also a model myself. In my line of work, I've supported many different people to be confident in front of the screen. So today our topic for the video is about body confidence. A lot of the times we think that confidence comes from external. We think that if we dress in an amazing way, if we look beautiful, or if our skin is clear, our hair is styled, then we will be more confident. To a certain extent, this is important, but I realized this is not the full truth. Because throughout the years, what I've gained experience personally, as well as with the people I work with, is that body confidence actually doesn't really come from our external or our physical appearance. We can dress in a lovely way. We can dress in clothes which allow us to express um, our physicality in a very true and radiant way. We can definitely do that. And we can also care for our skin in such a way that it is beautiful, it is flawless, and we can pick and select the correct color palette for our lips, as well as makeup which complements our complexion and skin type. Definitely, these things are all important. But whether dressing immaculately or whether your skin is pimple-free or pore-free actually does not really change or sustain your level of body confidence. It can allow us to feel better and amazing in a short term or temporarily, so to speak. However, if we feel there is some insufficiency or if there is some lack of confidence within us, dressing nicely or dressing expensively or making our skin completely, you know, um, absolutely perfect does not actually deal with the core issue inside of us to be fully confident. So you will find if we rely on the external to uh, make us more confident, we will find that this is something that we keep, we need to keep feeding on, meaning there's a codependency, such as if this day we did not have our favorite clothes, or if today we didn't have time to do our mask, or if we somehow end up in a situation where your routine or your beauty routine is not quite the same as what you would like it to be, then we might come to a point of meltdown of say panic or freak out, thinking, oh my God, I'm not gonna look as amazing or be as confident today because something that I need to do, I can't do or have. So you get my point. Body confidence, if you truly have it, is not dependent on anything on the outside. It is not dependent on external conditions. 
rather it is something that comes deep inside of us and it is there always to sustain every single moment of your movement. So this is the body confidence I'm talking about. And how do we actually have it? I've realized that how we actually have body confidence is to be very present with ourselves. What does being present to ourselves actually mean? It means this moment, my body, this physical part of me, is absolutely in unity with my thoughts. So that this moment, we are together, body and thoughts together, in the same place and same time. What not having body confidence looks like is if I'm talking to you right now, my body is sitting here and I'm talking to you. However, my thoughts are far away thinking of what I wanna have dinner in a couple of hours. Then I would not have body confidence because my body and my thoughts are not at the same place at the same time. So in these situation, situations, what happens is our body is here, our thoughts are somewhere else, and it creates a void. This void therefore allow, allows some of the thoughts which don't belong to us to come in. And these thoughts could be negative thoughts about ourselves. So what I'm saying is, if we have absolute presence in our day with ourselves, there would be no chance to have this void. And therefore there would be no chance for negative thoughts to come in. Do you get my point? If we are so closely, tightly connected with ourselves, our body and our thoughts glued together, same place, same time. We're so tight-knit with ourselves that there's no chance of any void of happening. And if there's no void within ourselves, then there are no thoughts that could come in. So everything that we feel is from being so close and intimate with yourself. So these things are not thoughts that are fed into us. They are a feeling that we have with ourselves. Do you see the difference? And do you get my point? That confidence actually comes from our body inside. It does not first comes from our body on the outside. However, when we have this body confidence from the inside coming out, what we put on the outside, such as what I'm wearing, how I, you know, care for my skin, how I do my makeup, what lipstick I put on, all of these things could only be a reflection of how I'm feeling inside. Does that make sense? So, maybe just take a couple of seconds right now and sit with yourself and feel. Whatever you're doing this moment, feel if your body is together with your thoughts. See how that feels. Like don't think about what the next moment will be. Don't think about what you're gonna eat later. Don't think about if you are imagining, you know, if your thoughts and the body are together. Just don't allow anything to distract you. 
but be with yourself. Absolutely. So this moment when you're watching this video, just be absolutely and completely here watching the video with me talking to you. See how that actually feels in your body. However, if this moment you're looking at the video, you're watching it, you're hearing my voice, but you feel you're distracted, that your thoughts are far away or somewhere else, or you want to do something different, you want to scroll your phone perhaps, or you want to talk to somebody, also allow yourself to feel that and compare the difference in feeling. I would love you to share this feeling with me. But more importantly, I would love you to register if there's any difference. If you sit here and watch this video from start to finish around 15 minutes time, completely present, I would love for you to register and see how this feels as a marker. Yeah. And therefore, with this marker, it would be so much easier for you if you go out in your next day or your next, next many days. And you can realize those moments when you are not completely present, when you're a bit distracted how that feels as well, and how that actually affects you in your day. Because when I'm fully present with myself, I'm so close and tight with my body. Nothing that comes to me, I can't handle. First of all, I won't have those distracting and unnecessary thoughts or critique about myself so therefore my life is much much simpler because just ask yourself how much time do you use every day to entertain those thoughts of critique of saying you're not good enough that your body doesn't look the way you want it to be how much time do we actually spend and waste in dealing with such unsupportive thoughts. If these thoughts don't exist, every single one of our days could be used in so much more value. So as a fashion stylist, I know this is true and I always share with my clients and today I wish to share this secret, trade secret with you. And that is, there are actually no bad clothes. There's actually no bad designers. There is only people without absolute body confidence. Yes. So we can actually wear anything and wear everything amazingly. We can actually wake up every single day having amazing confidence. We can actually deal with everything in life that comes at us if we keep this absolute presence with ourselves. Because body confidence is not a thing that we try to make happen. It is not a thing that is outside of us. It is something we know very well. And it is something our body can support us every single moment if we choose to be present to ourselves. Enjoy that.